Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Alien Dawn. Now, yes, you heard that right. We have a brand new area to play with and some new items. So I've been having a quick look around. We've got our new character in as well. So all I've done is crashed in. I'll just give you the quick rundown. I've set up the activities which are there and the seed is bag dash while all uppercase. The region, the new region we're doing crash landing is called and the region is called Sol 2. So, and it's a jungle map. Very, very exciting. Um, so, we are going to obviously get cracking into this. I'm on hard mode. So, we're going to give the gun to Carter. And we're going to get the basic setup at the beginning here. So I'm going to start with storage. I'm actually just going to build where it's crashed. It's actually a really good spot. But look at this. We've got some new plants. So, we're going to start by observing one of these. It does give wood, but I don't know if it gives something else. It looks like it gives a fruit of some kind. And I was looking around... I'm just going to play it slowly, actually, to watch that be observed. And then we'll set scavenge on that one. And I did see there's, like, lots of new things. You see this? Strange succulent. We're going to observe that one. Uh, there's lots of wrecks, which is nice. There's new animals. Check this out. So I've been looking around. Look at this. So we have some kind of warthog-looking thing. Striped horned animal. Hides and red meat. And you got this ugly... But kind of cool looking flat nosed rhino, a <laughs> bulky animal. Same from those as well. But welcome back to Alien Dawn, guys. I hope you're all well. I've been waiting for an update because I've been excited to play again, but I didn't want to start one because I knew one had to come out at some point, right? We got like the blue swirl around this tube plant. And there is multiple various trees. So it's jungle, obviously. So you've got jungle type trees, it looks like. Julia Palm. And I was looking, and there's also this. I really want to find out what this purple leaf is. So we are going to observe that. And there's like cool... It's like a swampy area. And I've noticed there's new variants of nests. Look at this. Let me find it. There we go. It's the mantises and purple mantises on the map. How weird. Look. And they've got like weird nest formations. I don't know if you're going to get some kind of new thing from them. I have no idea. So hopefully we'll find certain things as we start to play. Uh, is there a closer red thing? I think there is. Let's cancel that one. I know I'm just running in slow-mo at the moment. Just to kind of get my bearings. There's one there. Let's observe that one instead. Um, it's been a while since I played the crash landing. I haven't played it for a couple of months, actually. So it's good to know. Um, what we need to find is some bushes again. And we're going to get some storage in. The usual. We'll probably dump some stockpiles along here a second. And we've got the liquid fuel early on. That is awesome. And plenty to salvage. So I'm loving that. It looks like they may have upped the crashed parts here. Um, strange succulent is being observed. I am going to put it 2x now. I think we'll be okay just whilst I do that. And I'm going to start to get a little bit of wood in. So we'll cut. I mean, we don't need loads. I just need to find some sticks as well. We've got plenty of giant's grass. I will cut some of that because we can actually use that for... Is that? Yeah, we can build our basic shelters to get going. And I just need to observe some kind of bush. Let me find it. Another load of fuel. Okay. And I'll go through the new character in a moment. Tropical trees. Lots of different stuff. Here we go. Purple leaf. Ah, you get sticks from that. Cool. There we go. That's our sticks then. Purple leaf. Grows quickly and thrives in most soil types. This is good. So what we'll do then is plonk... I don't know. Let's just do a little bit of here. This is kind of our stick farm. Cure plant. Output when harvested. Antibiotics. Hmm, okay, so this gives antibiotics. This is going to change. Oh, look at this. Cone mushroom. So, we are going to... Okay, we can't harvest them, so we're going to wait till they grow. But we will set up our farms for these then. Cure plants. So we won't need to even grow any of these, which is awesome. Uh, we're not going to need loads, because as I say, you don't need that many. And we've got dandelion tree. Okay, harvesting of dandelion spores. Delicate trunk and branches feeding nutrients into the spores at the ends. If handled properly, these spore clusters can be broken down and used to make medicine or maybe even tea. Dandelion tea and healing balm. Okay. wonder if they're edible when they're raw. That is the question. I guess we can try and harvest when they're ready. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and get up our normal ones. So dandelion trees. We're not going to put that down just yet. I don't think we'll need it. I think the, what's the grow time? 
Oh, 24 days. Maybe we do then. Let's put in a small farm of this. I know there's some here. But it looks like the ones we harvest over there, they should keep growing off these, so I'm not sure. But we might end up building over all of this, so we just need to keep that in mind anyway. But let's do the let's do the basics then. Let's get the uh, the the sleeping spots and camps set up. So what do we need? Sticks. We're gonna have to harvest some of these red trees. Seems to be our only way of getting the sticks. There's new music too. I don't know if you can hear that. Super cool. Yeah, very excited. I'm actually gonna cut these purple leaves here, and we're gonna go straight into a research desk. We've got everything for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plonk that there for now. And I guess we can just put in the sleep spots for now. Uh, we'll try and keep everything relatively close for now. They're all going to disturb each other anyway. But let's just put a two gap between them. I don't think we're going to be able to build on that bit. So let's just do another one up here. That's fine. And uh, yeah, it's been a while, as I say, since I've done the survival mode. So it's going to be pretty cool. Let's go 3x here. Carter, we've gone with Carter, Melody, Raka, and Rita. So we're going to use her for the uh, expeditions to observe. Melody, she is the new character. Let's, let's, all about Melody. All about Melody. Let's check her skills. So she's basically never fails healing. She's interested in intellect. So she's going to be our main researcher here. Her profile is she likes playing arcade games. Oh my goodness, that's a new thing. And she likes kimchi. We can pickle kimchi now, which is cool. Uh, what did we scavenge there? You can now scavenge cloth. No queued research. All right, let's go into research and let's get this going. So I'm going to do the usual lightning rods. We're not messing. Camp management. We are here to stay, but mere survival is not sufficient. We must come together and establish strategies to maintain separate camps. Oh, okay. Toolsmithing. Oh my god. Fighting. Okay, what do we get in our breakthroughs, actually? So, fuel fermentation, carbon wind turns, balloon. That's really good. Not going to lie. Let's get metal refining next, and then we'll go into... We're going to need some weapons from these guys, I think. I think this is cool. We're going to want to check that out, but I don't want to I don't want to rush everything, like I said. I'm going to play it how I did the military outpost. We're not going to rush, but we are going to get everything we need. And we got the buzz stream. We know all about those. And we scavenged some food. So, we have got some meals, and we are in a wet season. So, you're starting the wet season. I think that means we can grow stuff real quick and what i'm going to do is observe this as well and we've got the lightning rod done so we're going to get one of those straight in i'm not messing about and let's put one actually over the top of our farms as well let's get one in there let's keep going how long's left on that he is kind of crazy how quick he scavenges I won't lie to you. And then what we'll do is get spaceship deconstruction after that as well. I like spaceship deconstruction and then basic construction. Uh, let's take that out, actually. Let's do wooden fortifications, then basic constructions. We don't need antibiotics because we're going to harvest those. Intellect 20 for Melody. So I think... Wow, she's already in euphoria. This is awesome. All right, let's go into... What else do we have? The buzz shrooms could be good. We could make some tea. I'm just going to slow it down a second whilst... Oh, purple leaf. Check this out. Small roof space where survivors could sleep and store their goods without being exposed to sun and rain. Exactly the same then. Nothing different except you have purple leaf as an item now. Bundle of leaves used as construction material or for feeding animals. So it's basically the same as hay. We're going to try them out. Put it over the beds. Do it like this. We don't want them attached actually. That'll do. And there we go. There's our four bed places and i kind of want to cover these guys up actually so let's get the basic stuff set up let's go like this for now we kind of want an open space don't we but i want it to be actually fully open i did that wrong let's cancel this one let's copy this one oh we can't do the copy on these until they're built can you let's go that way there we go. We'll set up a basic thing here, and we need to grab some more of that stuff. No problem. We're going to need the sticks anyway, so let's cut down some of those. When they grow, then, you can just cut them down for sticks and purple leaf, and they grow super, super fast. So we're not even going to need the hay, which is interesting. Uh, rain's going to help. We're scavenging nice items for now, and we'll get set up. I could do with a weapon, really. We're going to need to go on to scavenge there. And Rita, metal refinement, almost done already. So let's grab the stone. As you know, you need that to build your furnaces, so let's get a few of those in, and let's get a little bit more wood ready, because we are going to try and build that. 
I am going to attempt to be relatively uh, efficient. I don't know which tree is going to be worth observing and using. Tall palm trees are good. Uh, peculiar palm. I have a feeling that it says peculiar. You might be able to get something else from it. So let's observe. I wonder if you get like fruit from them. You never know. Always worth checking, right? All right, let's speed it back up. We got the tube plant on the go here as well. And I think we started off relatively okay. Oh man, it's good to be back in the game. Every time I get back in with every update, I'm like, yep, yeah, great to be back. I'm, uh, I've am i been contemplating um, RimWorld as well, you know. I know there's been a very variety of stuff on the channel recently, just whilst waiting for the updates, really. And there you go, look, I've just noticed. Look at this. Can you see this? Peculiar palm. I can see some kind of fruit growing off that. Of some kind. And we scavenged some synthetics. Lovely. And we've got the Heptagonia. We can harvest that for a bit of food straight away. And what I'm going to do... I've got um, Raka on building... To be fair, building, racker, got him cutting and mining as well. I don't know if I want him on the crafting just yet. We can, we can, we're not crafting anyway yet, are we? So let's get the storage shelf set up as well. How do we want to do this? Another row across there. I have a little mini storage and we'll get these, we'll get this shuffled over when we can as well. It's all been moved down here. Can you see? Is that where the copy is now? Oh, it is. It's been moved down the bottom. I was wondering where that was. We got deconstruct, reconstruct, copy, and move. Kind of makes sense now. I get that moved over. Yeah, let's get that moved over then. So Melody seems like a happy soul. Um, I want to go into a profile here. Occasionally motivates others, increasing the manipulati manipulation too, which is good. All right, up they get. We're going to start with this peculiar palm. I'm intrigued as to what that has for us now as well. And have we got any more heptagonia that can be harvested as well? So the more food we can get, so sweet syrup. I'm actually going to... Oh, we got a, another pistol. Amazing. So who else likes to fight? I can't remember, actually. Let's go into Raka here. Rita. Okay, Rita can have the weapon. Got two laser pistols then. So first attack we can deal with. And Raka is getting cracking on his construction now as well. So we will be under shelters. Every little helps on that happiness, right? And what have we got here? Heptagonia. I think we can just fill this whole area with heptagonias, I'll be honest. What we'll do is just fill in... Kind of weird, actually, isn't it? I think that's enough, actually. Sausage palm. Output when harvested. Palm meat. A soft, non-sturdy fruit that has all the properties of raw meat. Huh? Ah, it's a bit like um, jackfruit. Very cool. More fuel as well. Okay, metal refinement's done. We've got palm oil to research, so it tells you if there's new ones. 15 more food. I'm just going to slow it down, because there's a lot going on. Let's go... Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, furnace. We need that stone mine, so that's fine. Go back into here, then. So, sausage... Oh, can we harvest them? We can. I'm going to harvest some sausage palm off these, and let's see if we can cook. So, have we got our uh, campfire now? Get one of these in because that might bring in a new survivor who knows it's been a while since i played the survivor one so i wouldn't mind getting some in optimum obviously i like to no we want to observe that let's get the glow shrooms in for a bit of uh, happiness as well and when we grow our own little farm over here i'm thinking we build on this section might make it nice and tight and then we'll expand as we play i'll do it that way uh risk of meltdown on carter what is up burnout and you slept outside well you're no longer to be sleeping outside so that's good all right, what we're researching, the tailoring is coming in nice. All right, we're getting a few meds here. So 21 med kits. We're going to need a little med box as well. So where's my thingy here? Let's change this then. So we don't want raw food, cooked meals in there. Electronics and fabric we can kind of get rid of as well. And uh, take these two off there. And maybe the medicine. I don't know what the tools do. Survivor kit, respirator mask. What is all this? Grenades. Good luck charm. Slightly happier. Oh my god. Set of tools that increase harvesting, cutting, and mining. Oh my god. That's cool. All right. Sorry, I'm a bit excited. I'm just. <laughs> I'm going to get my uh, wardrobe in straight away. Let's put a wardrobe. I should pop it there for now. And um, we'll set the, uh, the clothing to not be on these either. Same goes for you. Everything else can go on there, I think. And then we'll leave it at that. And let's just double check. Tools outside we should probably not put tools on there either and i kind of want to now get into crafting of tools 
Because it's just saying 20% more efficient. So why wouldn't you do that? Let's go. Survival kit. Okay, tool smithing. I guess you can set up a camp. Camp management. We'll get tool smithing in first then. And I'm guessing you're going to need a workbench for that. Let's also put a workbench in. And we have our first food now. So let's have a look. Oh, there you go. So we can make meat soup with those weird fruit things. Um, so we can kind of go until four. I'll put it there with palm meat, but I'm not going to do much else. So we could go two types of tea. Happiness effect plus 15 with the dandelion spores and plus 15 with the stimulant. 100% chance to get minor stimulant and that's pain relief. Okay, so different kind then. So that's cool. Cool. Let's get back to research. And then Racker has done that now. And we have a shooting target also. All right, what have we got in Glitter caps. Let's get our small farm area of glitter caps. This one, actually, I should make a little bit bigger. So it's important to have a good amount of these because you can you can pick all the all sorts with those. And now we've got that in. Let's have a look. Insufficient storage space. So we're going to need a course for celebration. A great idea. Let's also copy this in. And let's get in another little row here. We'll cover these over. But I want to just remove everything from it at the moment, just whilst they construct this, and we should be good. Melody is getting tailoring done, and let's have a look then. So, is it in here? I don't think it is. I am going to craft 10 bandages, though. Let's just get 10 in, and then we're going to leave it at that. And then we're going to put in the tiny storage chests as healing boxes in there, and this is only going to be allowed healing. So we'll get rid of everything apart from medicine in there cool and there we go carter's doing a bit of cooking because he's free and that's a little bit of meat soup and we've done some bandages they're really quick for some reason i don't know what's going on here i think we could potentially harvest some of those dandelion trees then and get some of that tea in so we'll just kind of level up the farming and things as we go along i've just noticed there is wide leaf plant there but unless we're not going to make pipes and we're not going to need the tea with those so let's leave that intellect five for melody and we have our Get rid of these we have our ability to do some tailoring so i'm wondering if we're going to be able to use those things you know uh, that's what i'm thinking so i'm actually just going to move this i'll get used to that being down there and move this over here let's pop it there and then we're going to copy and we're going to paste this here when it's moved get two of those in there we go. And just widen this a little bit. And a campfire sitting. Hopefully we can increase these guys. Racker is an unhappy boy. So we need to actually get those glitter caps. And we'll get the glitter shrooms going. So let's harvest all of those. Very, very handy. And there we go. Celebrating for survival here. Let's get rid of everything. Let's have a little look at our characters here. Just chilling. The time to be alive. That's nice. That's real nice, eh? Super cool. Look at Carter. I've never used Carter before, and actually he's like the solo champion on this game, isn't he? Wetting, ravenously hungry. I think it's relatively hot on this mode, too. Yeah, 29 degrees in the wet season outdoors. Pretty crazy. Pretty damn crazy. There we go. That's a plus 20 for all of them because of that anyway, so that's good. And we're getting a bit of harvest here, so as soon as this harvests, I'm going to get a couple of shroom torches in. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh man, Are you, have you been as excited as me for the updates? And I love that they are not leaving out. I've just noticed this. Look at this, bare roots tree. I can see fruit on that. Let's observe it too. It looks like this needs to be down in a swamp though, because this area is like swampy. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm so excited, you know? Just, it is one of my favorite games, I won't lie to you at the moment. It has been for a while. Obviously, I've played like 200 odd hours now, I know. Some of you console guys are still catching up, but let me know uh, which platform you are playing on as well, actually. Or whether you play PC with a controller. I don't know. You might do. Kind of just throwing bundles of junk all over the floor here. They look quite nice. They do look like the leaves when they're rolled out. I like that. Much nicer than the hay. All right, what are we doing? Spaceship deconstruction here. Uh, he's already done. Why is this being done so fast? I feel like they've increased the speed on max speed up here. And also thunderstorm now i need to be careful being out please i'm praying there's no struck by lightning here but yeah i feel like they're scavenging a lot quicker you know 
No, Iraq is still chilling, but happiness is still okay. Five days in, we're doing all right at the moment. Observing this bare root tree, I am intrigued by this too. Arta, you could have finished it while you're out there, mate. We do not want. Okay, Melody's going out to do it. We don't want a repeat of um, Vicente, you know, our mate, our mate and confidant. Okay, and we want <laughs> we want to get into the furnaces as well before I forget. So let's uh, as our stores, let's put them over here. Find it there. We'll do. Coconut palm. There we go. Unlocks harvesting of coconuts. Planting of coconut palm. I'm assuming then, so there is quite a lot. This, oh, yes, we can grow it up here. Oh, yes, let's get some coconut palms in. Not even sure that. Yep, coconut palms coming. How are we doing? Uh, leisure, shroom torch. Cool. Right, let's get a shroom torch here. And let's get another. Let's just do the one for now, actually. It's just for excitement, happiness. We're scavenging a lot of fuel now, too. And there we go. We have our first attack. All right, let's go check in with it. I think it's already fighting some hogs, actually, so they're going to die a little bit. Yes, the hogs are battering them. Nice. They've knocked it down to 30. It's just 30 smaller ones, actually, as well. So We are going to go for pretty extravagant defenses this time as well, I'm hoping. That's going to be the plan, at least, anyway. We've got the two guns, so what I'll probably do, actually, is uh, draft these guys up in a second. Let's do it now, actually. Let's go start attacking these. Bring them up. Get them attacking, and uh, kind of just go from there, really. I know it's dark, so got to be careful here. Hopefully, they can get some kills. I should, probably should have just done this with one of them, but that's okay. That's why I didn't want to, you see. I don't mind getting injured, actually. Let's just let's just do this. And then Rita can kind of shoot them as well. There we go. Right, 25. Speed it up a little bit. Come on. It's going to be a relatively easy attack anyway, this one. So there we go. I'll just bring them in. There we go. Take a shot, Rita. Got one attacking here. I'll just kind of kite them a little bit. There we go. And this one. We should be fine just to take a little bit of a beating here. We can let... Oh, God, they're all coming, actually. Actually, let's just stand here and take them out. I don't want to get them too injured. We can kite them a little bit anyway with how this is. Uh, 14. I think we'll be fine, actually. Yeah, let's just stand them here. That's fine. 12 shouldn't be too bad. I mean, they, they just get the bites from these guys, don't they? So it's okay, I think. Rita's taken a bit of a beating, but I think bleeding out one day. Bleeding not life-threatening. We should be okay here. Last one. And spaceship deconstruction as well. Let's undraft these guys, and they can go kind of get healed. Rita, do you want to... Uh, we'll let her get done anyway we've got melody on uh, on on uh, healing one so hopefully she goes to rita first i think they may have fixed this let's have a look five per hour melody melody heal thank you there we go you like to do it too and then we'll get uh arter queued up for after i'll shift click that one lovely stuff so Melody, yeah, heals those up. She enjoys doing it too, so the, the happiness boost will be there. But there's the first attack. Not too bad at all. Food's about to rot away, so I don't know whether we... I don't know why they do this. They should choose the uh, foods. But anyway, spaceship deconstruction. So we can actually salvage these two now. I know this one still needs scavenging, but that's okay. And looks like nice and healed now. So Carter will be good, and Rita isn't going to die. So it's much easier if you have, like, a sniper early on. But the two pistols... Once we get the defences going with the wooden fortifications, we should be okay. We have quite a lot unlocked already. I'm going to get long distance travel queued up. Oh my god, bench presses. We will need strength to endure this hostile environment. While punching poles and mining rocks can tr contribute to our strength, nothing surpasses the effect of a good old powerlifting. Okay. <laughs> Purple leaf cloth. Look at this. All right, palm oil. That's good. You get 20 for 20 of the palm meat. 
and pickling. I'm not going to go stimulants. I'm just looking. Kimchi is down here. You can get kimchi from the leaves there. Research pickling. I want to get the kimchi because that's going to make her happy. And I think we'll... Let's just keep doing that then. A plea for help. Ah, yes. Walk in. Let's go. And it's Vanessa. I actually... So, I'm just going to stop a second. Vanessa is a good character. Now, let's go in. Uh, she's healing again, actually. So, let me look at hers. Can't fail a medical. Makes other happy when playing music. Recovers health twice as slow, which is not good. She likes to drink beverages. We have had her before, though. That's good, though. That does mean we can set up a brand new shelter for her. We'll get that one over here. And we'll also get in. That's kind of good. So, we had a day six walk-in right there. Pretty epic. That's going to help massively. It's speeded up then, and she's straight in. So let's do her... Oh, you know what I didn't do? A schedule. So I want them working until... Kind of funny, actually. They've been pretty efficient just on that. I want to make sure they're always sleeping on a minimum of those, and then anything... Let's just work with that, actually, and then let's get her schedule done as well. Likes healing. I could probably use her to do cutting, crafting... No, she doesn't like to craft, so let's take her off these. We can do research and stuff, though. So we'll leave her on that, and then we'll get her to do mining as well. That'll do. She can be a main uh, handler and deliverer as well. Perfect. Right, new synthetic helm and food rotted away. Spaceship deconstruction. Hopefully, we can pull weapons or electronics early, and we can get that popping as well. But so far, so good. This is a very, very strong start. And there it is. There's the electronics. Oh my god, we've just unlocked so much research here. Or we will have when we get down to it, which is great. Once this is done, though, we can get a couple of towers up, and that will work for the first couple of defences here. So what I will do is queue up... How's that? Okay, that'll be cut soon anyway, so that's fine. I'm thinking about grabbing in a bit more wood ready. So if we start cutting down some trees, I'm going to keep those ones, because they give... Look at all this fruit in here. Sausage palms. Amazing. I wonder if you can dry it. I'm going to check. So there's another thunderstorm. Farming. Uh, let's get a drying rack. And let's put the drying rack over here a second. That'll do. And let's also get a little bit more on the metal alloy here. So we're just going to go to 100 on... We're just going to mirror that one there. So this one is going to be 100, and the other one is mirroring that, so that should be good. Yep, cool. Okay, happy days. I think that is going to be a good spot to end this one out, guys. So smash the thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, do consider subbing to the channel, and let me know your thoughts and what you think on the update so far. I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you enjoy it, but please do... Oh, my God. Carter. No! <laughs> See you in the next episode, guys.